Hello. So a little background on why I'm sitting here in my shed in front of a laptop. So this is the story of a Cape Honeysuckle tree. It used to be big, tall, impressive, and regal. It provided me with merciful shade during the scorching summer afternoons. It attracted colorful hummingbirds to the backyard. And like that rug from Big Lebowski, it really tied the room, not the room, but the backyard together. So you can imagine my horror when the HOA from the condo complex behind me unilaterally decided, or not decided, but they unilaterally chopped down the tree to the fence height. Uh, most of it was on my side of the fence anyway, so I don't, I, I can't understand why they did that. Um, so naturally I protested and they apologized and it's been a year now and some of, it, some of it has grown back. But I heard there is some shuffle within the administration over there. Uh, something about getting a, or them having a new president who may not be aware of how much I like this tree. So I'm taking the liberty to make it patently, patently, patently clear. All right, so this is how most of the magic happens, whether I'm composing a speech or I'm learning something new from the internet, or in this case, I'm gonna make a new sign. Uh, my rig consists of a standard laptop, nothing too fancy or remarkable about it. However, this over here is uh, something you don't see every day. This is a um, 150 watt pow battery inverter, which powers my laptop for, or is capable of powering my laptop for about 14 hours uh, with this four amp hour, um, 18 volt lithium Ryobi battery. Uh, it's got a three prong, it's got a three prong uh, power outlet. It's got a USB power outlet. And um, it cost me 80 bucks uh, at Home Depot. So that definitely this is, it's almost like a, um, a mini Tesla power wall. So this is actually really, really cool. So I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS. I know it's really old and outdated, probably uh, 10 years old, but uh, it works for this purpose of making signs. Let's go to file new. Um, let's call this something recognizable, a tree project. Uh, I'm going to use a standard uh, 11 inch by 8.5 um, paper size resolution. Keep it the default 72 pixels per inch. Now select the text tool and expand the uh, text area. Um, so let's say, please do not cut down my cape, honey. Seco, or whatever your message you want to send. So um, you can change the font to whatever you like, Gothic, or you know, GG. However, you want to make this as legible as possible. You want the viewer, uh, the the person reading the sign, to easily um, be able to read it and not have to strain their eyes and. Um, have to try to decipher it. So Times New Romans for me is a safe bet. Uh, and then I would even do bold to make it a little bit more salient. Uh, and then if you want to fill up more of the screen, maybe change the font to 115, not 115, 115, something like that. And then uh, what I would definitely recommend is to go to this uh, little window down here and then Right click blending options, uh, do a drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow. Because uh, with the shadow, you can play around with the distance here and change how the shadow is projected. Um, and then there's other things you can play with the, the inner glow. You can change, play around with the noise. Um, but yes, that's what the, um, the blending option does. And then always, always with these signs, add a visual cue. So I'd go to like uh, Google. Let me start over here. I like go to Google.com and type in like tree clip art or anything clip art you can find pretty much on the internet these days. And I just picked out something really simple like this. This little uh, child's drawing of a tree, and save the picture as. You can save the type as PNG or bitmap. Photoshop recognizes both, and then give it a a file name. Like uh, test one, save it. Now go back to your Photoshop program, uh, file open that 
clip art you just saved, test one, control A, and then just drag it over. Oh, you see how the clip art um, covers up the text? To, check, to fix this, just go to the little window down here, click on the text, and then drop it um, onto the clip art. And I would even add a little bit more clip art file open. This is something I have saved from before. Another clip art here. This one's a little bit more detail. But again, same deal. Control A, drag it over. Now the software is smart. It knows you want that clip art behind the text. And if you um, notice here, the text is somewhat camouflaged um, in front of the tree here. So I would actually click on the double click on the text in this window down here, change the color to red this way. Um, it's a lot easier to read. It stands out more. And then simple as file save. Uh, save as a, as a JPEG because FedEx and other um, businesses that do do printing they they like JPEG and now I'm gonna go to that file uh, where is that here Cape okay, Honeysuckle and then go yeah so this is what it is and you're you're done just take this to uh, FedEx and get it printed out a bell 11